Beautiful Butterflies is a brand new collection from our friends at Crafters Companion. Not only are there papers, and you really can't see how gorgeous they are with this front, but we'll show you. There's also dies, 3D embossing folders, lots of goodies to play with. We have them all for you. Teresa's been very, very busy, and I hope you'll come play with us. Here is Teresa's first card, and there is this beautiful 3D embossing folder. Now, I showed it to you briefly a second ago, but there is the packaging, and really wanted to show you kind of up close and personal. Here's what it is in white, and as you know, with 3D embossing folders, you really get that deep, deep uh, texture to it. This has a oval in the middle that's plain. It's ready to hold whatever you want. Now, what Teresa did is she took the blending brushes and, let's see, I think I'll use the medium size one, <clears throat> and she took the um, Harmony ink pads. Now, these are water reactive. They're like the Distress inks. This is Plum Jam and Damson White, uh, excuse me, Damson Wine, and so you get the colors on them, and you just simply load up your brush, and then just gently stroke it over the, um, the uh, embossed piece. And you can see, as I'm doing this here, it just takes a moment. And that's really, really nice. <laughs> now what Teresa did, and I'm not gonna go as, um, as heavy as she did because you've got her finished example. I'm just going to lightly touch this. And what she did is she went over pink everywhere and then she went into the purple and really did, I think she probably used the smaller brush. So getting into that and really doing the purple on the butterfly. So, you don't have to worry too much about the ink um, spreading where you don't want it to because you can just blend it away. So here we go. We've got a good start toward it. And let's see, let me put the lids on these so they don't dry out. And let me bring in her finished card to really show you just how you, how you can transform. And like I said, it doesn't take much to just lift up those lar those top areas uh, that does so nicely with that embossing folder. Now, what Teresa has used is um, out of the paper pack, there are die cuts in there. So let me just bring this in. They're toward the back. I will be showing you the papers as we go through the other projects. So these are the die cuts and they're already ready for you. And you can see this is one that she has used right here. She added two of the flowers and then one of the cutouts. There's a ton of cutouts in here. And let's see, let me show you just one of those sheets. Okay, so um, she just took the It's Your Day, matted it and put it on top. Now. Teresa also will get in, just get back and get in there closer. Thank you, Houston. And she used the um, pastel cardstock set. In fact, she uses it on many things here. And as you probably know, it looks like this when you get it. And the pearlescent is a lie. It's really pastel. So no, that, that's not true. It's pastel. But there's 20 sheets in here. It's a super, super price. And we're happy to have it for you. So I think we're going to add it to the money saver. So she used the pink and you see how it matches perfectly, um, to um, mat her embossing folder after, she, after she's colored it. Those um, additional pieces, that's from the brand new Hunky Dory sparkla, Sparkles. This is the pink shimmer, yes, and you get all of them. Um, the design team has been using them. And then she also used, as you can tell, the uh, light pink ribbons. This adds a beautiful finishing touch. And look how easy that is. Now, Teresa does this technique quite often where she will maybe mat something and then before she attaches it to her card, she wraps a ribbon around it. That way the ribbon ends go behind the matting and it just is a very clean look. On the inside of this card, look what she did. The same embossing folder, 
just simply this time using pink on that butterfly and leaving the rest of it white, adding a couple more of those die cuts, a little bit of, well, and then foam taping this one and just a knotted ribbon and you've got a beautiful look. I love the fact that this is purple on the front, pink on the inside, it just works very, very nicely. Okay, you wanna see more? I know you do. So Teresa took that same embossing folder did it on the pink cardstock and cut it into a strip. This strip is one and a quarter inches wide. She took some other papers from the paper pack. Again, this is beautiful butterflies. And she cut those in one and an eighth inch wide. So then this whole piece is going to span about four and a half inches. And she matted all of that on the gray that's part of the pastel cardstock. So that's why I think we're going to include it because you get to use it. Now there's something else going on because there's a brand new item already and it's this. It is the intricate floral border. And look at this, there's a scallop on this side and this beautiful lace on the other. And do you see what Teresa's done? She has done, she's cut it. So she's got this piece. Now she cut this out of the pink cardstock <clears throat> and attached it with the sticky specks and then did the other piece above this strip. So I think that just kind of gives, makes it larger, doesn't it? And I think that's really nice. Now this piece of paper, this piece, this piece, and this piece, all from that paper collection. This flower is from the Blush Country Blooms. Well, as a matter of fact, all of the instructions are in the gallery, and the gallery is just down below. Click on it, you can see the exact directions that Teresa has used. Now on the inside of her card, wow, isn't that a fun, fun look? She took the stripe paper, took the same cutting die, same pink uh, cardstock, and just laid it right here. The sticky specs makes that so easy. And I'm sure you know the sticky specs, you're going to die cut your piece, you're going to lift up this liner, put your die cut piece anywhere because all of these micro dots, you, can, um, you can't use all of them at once. So this really lasts a long, long time. In fact, Teresa told me she had been using one sheet for several months and it was still good. So that's nice to know. So place your uh, die cut piece, especially one that's intricate like this. Rub it gently to get those adhesive dots on it. Then lift it up and simply place it on your project and it will just adhere perfectly and nice and smoothly. This is one of the other die cuts, a little ribbon. These are both out of the white ribbon set and isn't that a really nice, nice look? Very easy to do also. And uh, these are, you know, one, two, three, four, five pieces of the papers. There are, let me think, there are la 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 la, so 50 sheets, I think. Yeah, 50 sheets of double-sided and then 50 die cuts also. Quite a deal on those papers. Okay, let's move on. And we've got more from Teresa. This is now, we're going to add something else. And this is beautiful butterflies. Now this is a stamp set and a cutting die set all in one. And look what she has done. Isn't that neat? Okay, let me walk you through it. Again, two papers out of the Beautiful Butterflies collection, that gray cardstock out of the pastel. So she took, cut her paper, you'll see the directions in the, in the gallery, then matted it on the gray. Then she placed the two butterflies, die cut them, and then foam taped this piece onto her card that has another paper from the collection on it, okay? So then you've got two holes. Now, what did she do next? Well, she took vellum. Now, our vellum comes in 10 sheets. These are six by 12, so you get a lot of them. And she simply, um, let me pull a sheet out. Okay, vellum, I absolutely love vellum. Um, <clears throat> this ghosted-like look, I think it's gorgeous. So she stamped on here 
with a watermark ink pad and then she used the gold embossing powder. Oh, so pretty. Now, as you're looking at this, you might be wondering how did the color get in? Let me lift this. See how it's a color on the back side? Well, there's no color on this. What did she do? She took the Lagoon ink pad and went back with her blending brush after she had stamped, after she had embossed, turned it over and colored it on the back. Now, I wouldn't have believed that you could do that, but the woman has done it. And I think it is brilliant and it's a good thing to remember. Now, the other thing that she did is she used her bone folder and kind of just curled those, le those wings. Just gives them a bit of a lift and then she attached them with the extra sticky tape, you know, the kind that has the orange liner. That way it's just really secure in the center there and it works very nicely. Now, those stones that are on this, well, this is from the sepia shimmer uh, sparkles from our friends at Hunky Dory. And she just added them large, medium, and small going right down the butterfly and just nestled that little guy in there. So she had these two openings, but then she used a mix between the die cuts that are in the paper pack and the cutouts to give her message and just to kind of fill that space. Isn't that pretty? You can now ink on the back of vellum. It gives you so many options. The inside of the card, wow. Now this is very gray and teal, very pretty. And then we're gonna get more teal, but we're gonna get the lighter color. Did the same thing, matted on that gray cardstock, and that's a great big die cut and another die cut. A little bit of the teal ribbon and you are done. Just really so easy to do. Okay, I have one more, and this is it. Oops, okay, I'll turn it right side up just for you. Now, this has got some different things going on with it, and it's got some different items. So what Teresa has done, let me get my stuff out here for you, is she cut her paper. Now, this is one of the papers that was used earlier um, in fact, it was used on this card, okay? Well, here's just a bigger piece of it. And so she has uh, cut it to fit inside of her card. Again, the directions will be in the gallery. And then she wanted to put some tape down. Now, as you know, you can use washi tape, you can use um, just any tape that will easily lift off. But we have this new from Hunky Dory, as you can see, they've emblazoned their name all over it. But it is a, a, a tape that is easy to remove. And so you can just position it like that and then take this cutting die and look at it. Intricate trellis is what it's called. And you can die cut out the shape, just the outside shape, okay? This is a three piece cutting die. So you're gonna get this piece, you're gonna get the center, and you're gonna get the outside. She simply die cut the outside. Then she took the gray cardstock, the same one we've been talking about, and she die cut out this trellis. Now, I'm kind of surprised by that because I wouldn't have necessarily thought that it would look so silvery just cut out of the gray. I think it just does really well. Teresa did something else before she put her paper, oh no, she had already put her paper on there. She did put acetate behind this opening so that it's, it's not empty, it's got acetate on it. So that's interesting. I think she just did that just to have something else going on. I think it's really nice. Now, before we get to the inside of the card, I want to finish the front of the card. She went back to the butterfly set and there it is that we just looked at and she stamped these onto the pink cardstock out of that pastel set but this time with silver embossing powder isn't that pretty so that silver really picks up the gray and i think it just is a really wonderful look a couple of the die cuts are foam taped on there and then we also have more of these hunky-dory uh, 
shimmer sparkles. This is the monochromatic and um, monochrome is what it's called. And you can see that she's added them in three sizes. The inside of her card, <clears throat> here's what she's done. She took one of the cutouts from the um, paper collection and actually it's this one. So if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. That's interesting, isn't it? She matted it on the gray and the pink, added two of the hunky dory shimmers and one of the uh, chipboard or yeah, the die cuts that are in the paper pack and position that so you can really see it through the window. And I think it's just a really, really clever card. So Teresa, she's done wonderfulness as she usually does. I love her work and it's so much fun to share it with you. Now, as I've said a couple of times, the directions are in the gallery. The gallery is just down below. Below that, you'll see some of the products that she's used. Over to your right, I think it's that way, you're gonna see the Money Saver, and we'll bundle these together and give you just a special deal on it. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please head over to paperwishes.com, take advantage of that Money Saver, look at the directions, that's always so helpful. And thank you, thank you so much for joining us. We love sharing all of this with you and we love the fact that you're part of our Paper Wishes family.